Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to explain to you the proof that the summation of the probability mass function of the binomial distribution is equal to 1. Now let's start with our proof. Summation of the probability mass function, in this case we're gonna use this one. This is x from 0 to n, so we'll have here x is equal to 0 until n. Now for this term, 1 minus p raised to n minus x. We can factor it out into 1 minus p raised to n times 1 minus p raised to negative x or 1 minus p raised to n over 1 minus p raised to x. Now, this 1 minus p raised to n is a constant. So we can move it out from this summation like this one. Then we're left with summation of n chooses x then this p raised to x and this 1 minus p raised to x can be combined together into like this p over 1 minus p raised to x. Now we can simplify it using the Newton's binomial theorem, which is this one. y plus 1 raised to n is equal to summation of n chooses r, y raised to r, from r equal to 0 until n. Now, if this theorem is unclear to you or you don't have any knowledge about this theorem, I have a video that shows how to prove this. You can check out the link in the description below that I have provided. Now we can make this one summation to be same with this one so that we can replace this with a form like this without a summation that is easy to use. Now let r in here to be equal to x, this one and this y in here to be equal to this p over 1 minus p. Then the resulting expression for this one is this one, summation of n chooses x times p over 1 minus p raised to x, which is same with this one. This is x equals to 0 to n when we change this r into x. Now this one or this one is equal to y plus 1 is to n. And if we use this transformation, we'll get y, which is p over 1 minus p, will be this one, then plus 1 raised to n. So we can use this one in place of this summation. Then we have here is equal to 1 minus p raised to n times this one, which is p over 1 minus p plus 1 raised to n. Now we can simplify this by having a common denominator 1 minus p. So we will have here p plus 1 minus p over 1 minus p is to n. And we can cancel out p and negative p. 1 raised to n is still 1, so we'll get 1. And then here the denominator will be 1 minus p raised to n. So here 1 minus p raised to n. And we can cancel out this one and this one will get 1. So this completes our proof that the summation of the probability mass function of the binomial distribution is equal to 1. 